Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome to a beautiful day in California. An okay day? Okay, fine. It's just a crappy day in California today. Um, but today we're gonna do a video on oil consumption and can we fix it in the G35? So let's do that now. First off, I want to say, if you own a G35 um, or a 350Z and it does not consume oil, I want to give you a round of applause, a congratulatory high five through the camera because you have a motor that is very rare in the Infiniti and G35 world. Um, so today we're talking about the VQ35 DE, uh, DE and rev up, in particular the rev up because it sucks a lot more oil down but all of these applications also apply towards just the non rev up engine as well. I've been getting a lot of comments on my other video that is the common Infiniti G35 issues and I will put a link to that right up here for you guys. A lot of comments on that video asking, you know, is the oil consumption in this car really that bad? Does it really suck that much oil? And then from owners also, like all you guys that are watching this video probably, you probably own an Infiniti and trying to figure out how can I fix this issue? And I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys also saying, yeah, it really sucks. Um, maybe I've tried this, I've tried that, but it still hasn't helped. So we're gonna go over a couple of things that we can do, easy things, and then we'll go over expensive things at the end that you can do to fix, your, to fix the oil consumption issue, try and fix the oil consumption issue in the VQ35 DE. So let's get into it now. First off is going to be the use of a different oil. So I currently use Mobile One full synthetic uh, 10 weight 1030 I believe is what the car takes. I always have to Google it because I always, I'm so bad at remembering what oil this car takes so I always have to Google it. I'm using just regular full synthetic 10 weight 30 Mobile One and so one thing that people say right away is use a different oil. So next oil change, I'm actually going to switch to a high mileage, mobile one, full synthetic still, but a high mileage. Um, so try different oils out, different oil brands, see what works for you. Um, different oil brands add different additives into the oil to make it act differently. Um, so try different ones out guys, see what works for you. If you find something that works for you, also if you found something that has worked for you and is different and not consuming please leave me a comment down below. I would personally love to know. The next thing is to use a thicker oil. So get away from conventional oil or from synthetic oil. So synthetic oil is really, really good because it gets thin at startup. So when you start the motor, it's very, very thin already. Um, so it's lubricating already when you start the motor. Conventional oil is a lot this is why a lot of new motors don't use conventional oil, conventional oil because it takes a lot longer for the viscosity of the oil to get thin. So, but the, the issue with that is that whenever you use synthetic, the synthetic oils can slip past the gaskets and the seals a lot easier. So that's why people say use conventional oil, try that instead of synthetic. See if that helps you because, because it's thicker, it may not get past those piston rings and those valve seals as easily. The last thing guys is super easy is just don't drive your car hard. So you'll probably still consume oil. I don't drive hard right now. I'm still consuming oil. But I'm telling you right now, if I redline or I am pushing the car to its limits all the time, I'm consuming oil a lot quicker. So if you take care of the car, drive it like a baby, you'll consume oil a lot less. Okay, so you're saying, Steven, I've already done all those things. I've already tried it. It's not working for me. So what, can, what else can I do? So the next thing you can do is, they're still relatively cheap guys, is number one, change out your PCV valve. PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation. It's a system in the car that keeps pressure equal throughout the ventilation system, uh, throughout the crankcase system. If your PCV valve is broken, you will be leaking oil um, it could be stuck open. So if it's stuck open, then you're just pretty much throwing 
oil fumes and oil into your lower manifold. So that right there, bam, losing oil just like that, super easy. So change out your PCB valve. It's extremely easy to do. It may take five to 10 minutes and that's it guys, it's super easy. The next thing, a little bit more expensive, but it's only gonna cost you, you can get cheap ones for about $100, $200, is a catch can system. So this sits in between your PCV valve and your lower manifold where the tube is right now, which I will show you guys a video of where that location is uh, right now in a different picture. catch can will sit right there in between your valve. Um, I did install a catch can already on my car. I'll put a little link up here in the corner. You guys can go watch that video um, on my catch can that I installed. It works. I am definitely catching oil. There was definitely oil spitting even after I changed the PCV valve. I was still leaking oil through the PCV system, uh, which that's what it's meant to do. You can't be mad at it. That's what the PCV valve system is there for. So I was still leaking oil, but it fixed it for the most part. So that's number two, super easy. Put a catch kit in the car, see if that works. Now we'll get into the expensive stuff. So obviously number one is buy a new motor. That's crazy expensive. Um, we don't wanna go there. So other things you can do, obviously still expensive, is in the VQ35 DE, most of the oil that's leaking is leaking through two places, the piston rings and the valve seals internally. So if you've changed your oil, you got a catch can, new PCV valve, everything's brand new, everything looks great, and you're still leaking oil, it's all internal. So it's most likely in this motor through piston rings and through the valve seals. So obviously you can buy new pistons, new pistons will come with new seals, uh, new seals, AKA your piston seals aren't leaking anymore. Piston seals? Piston rings. Piston rings, yeah. So if you get new pistons, you'll no longer have, uh, your piston rings will no longer be leaking. So new pistons equal new rings equal no more leaking at the piston rings. You can also replace your valve seals. Um, but both of those are just crazy expensive. Um, if you're doing all that on a motor, in my opinion, let's just go ahead and buy the VQ HR motor. Let's get, yay, 40 more horsepower and hashtag race car. I really hope this video helps some of you guys out. There's some easy fixes that you can do and there's some really expensive things to do. Um, try all the easy stuff, guys. Try the easy stuff, see if it works for you. There's a PCV valve that's gonna cost you 10 bucks. Catch can, if you really wanna go there, it's gonna cost you 100 bucks. It's not crazy expensive and it will help you out at least a little bit. If this video helped you out guys, please hit that thumbs up but button and subscribe to my channel. I'm always reading all the comments from my page guys and I read everything, I answer everything. If you have any questions, if you have found any oils or anything that works for you guys in your guys' motors, please feel free to leave a comment. I personally would love to hear from everybody to see what is working in your guys' motors because one of you might even be able to help me because I'm still consuming oil. So that's it guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.